I'm not, but I have uh, from about the 10 hours to the next one. Oh, nice. And you are from which state? From Humboldt State University. In the university? Uh, Humboldt State. It's not open. Yeah, yeah. we have to go. Yeah. 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 Are you at the street yeah. school in Trabuco? Yes. On Sunday. I'm not sure which day, but maybe there's a Yeah, both of them. Both of them will go. Both, both of them. Yeah. They are on students' program. We have one program where the students can come and stay here yes. to see what is called monastic experience. I hope that they will be monk. <laughs> what about <Or> that? Yeah. <laughs> I love to do that. I'm too old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Your mom picked up this program, right, for you? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Nice. Lucky. Wow. Both of them have yeah, come yeah. for that program. We have one. Yeah. This this is to expose people to this idea, what yeah. is monastic life. And if, if anyone interested. But people learn and go away. Who <laughs> will have to live the whole life like this? <laughs> a few days is good. It's the, it is the best retirement plan. Yeah. <laughs> that, I agree. that <laughs> now that is best. That's true because yeah. uh, that's true. After you experience yeah. everything, right. and you understand mm -hmm. the futility of the things, and you see what the world can give, what uh, you have achieved, how much frustration, how much. Spending the same amount of energy, what you have got, and what inner tranquility and peace can be achieved if one wants to really lead seriously this life in an in an environment. If you know to utilize the environment, best environment even useless. Uh, so if one can do that, they are the best beneficiary of this. Where will you get an environment where all people are thinking of spiritual life, their own spiritual growth, freedom of the soul, internal freedom, not license, but freedom. Uh, and where will you find also, sometimes it did becomes a problem, a young energy comes and they want to see all perfect. The world is not perfect. There will be good and bad. Some may be perfect, some may be closer to perfection. But imperfection is there, that's why you are in the human body. Coming here, if you find that everything will be perfect, ideal, that's an immature thought. You have to absorb whatever best is there, to take the best. No? So, Ramakrishna said there is in the in a scripture, sand and sugar mixed together. We are reading the scripture. Huh? There is a mixture of so-called high spirituality and sometimes dogmatic few feelings, ideas in ignorant mind that will appear. But you have to take what is life-sustaining, what is what is good for you. There are two books are here. You are not using that book. Give somebody. I can, I can share with you. Oh, you have to cite two books. <laughs> Anyhow, it is a it is a question of it is a keen eye yeah, which can take the eye of seeing and absorbing what is good. Uh, there will be good bad. Uh, ideal condition is you cannot get anywhere. But we have to think that we have we have come here to absorb the good thing. No, if you want to absorb bad thing, whole world is open. There's no need. Where is the perfect world? Be ye perfect as your father in the heaven is perfect, isn't it? So be ye perfect. That means we are not perfect. No. But be. That's why Swamiji says being and becoming. Be. And every day be. How will you be? If you put an imperfection side, they will become unconsciously imperfect, more imperfect, more imperfect. And if you try to see the imperfect side and try to imbibe a little bit of, then you become be 
being and becoming, 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 becoming. Close act to perfection, close act to perfection. And you reach Samadhi, then you are done. Perfect. So this is the condition of our seeing the world in our own own way. Uh, it is cold or hot? What do you feel? What about you people? Cool. No, no, no. Cold, cold. No. I have a very thick chagar. It came from India, so I am using it today. Okay, <clears throat> now let us go back to our topic. Sorry, we are 15 minutes late. Uh, our, this subject is called Sadhu Sangha, or Holy Company. Open the page 141, then both of you can share and check it. Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha is the Holy Association. Holy Association and the glory of the Holy Association. Uh, what is the glory of Holy Association? We have heard before that Holy Association is that it takes us close to holiness. Holy Association takes us close to holiness. Any association, it has its impact on us and that type of impression we absorb in our mind. So. If you come in holy contact, but who is holy? Holy is that who thinks of God day and night, who is trying to be perfect as we are talking about. With, with their own, everyone has their capacity, how much you can do. One, one may be one degree, another may be another degree, but that is the holy company. And holy company says that it purifies the person quickly. Is a transformational effect because holiness is like what you call uh, is contagious, not in the negative sense. Mm -hmm. uh, it it uh, unconsciously spreads its own impact. So this is the uh, holy impact, and that has been praised in the Bhagavata. Did you get it? Are you made my case for? Ah. And fan was on continuously, so it was throwing cold air at me. I see, that's right. So now it's okay. Now okay. everything is on. Let it. Now we, we are reading the, the last time we also read the same glory of the Holy Company, uh, which has been made that nothing is closer to the glory of the Holy, and if one gets to the Holy Company, then he can be. They attain me by their association with the holy good sense. Now today, uh, again, Sri Krishna is talking to Kapila. And Kapila draw a contrast between the benefits of holy company and degrading effects of unholy association. Huh? It is different places, the whole Bhagavat, the huge wealth of spirituality. And different verses are pulled from different corners, and this is the collection, small collection. So here it says, so what is the good benefit of holy company, and what is the negative effect of unholy company? So to compare parallelly, so these two few verses are for that. Okay, let us now chant first, if you can. Tato Dushangam Utsrijya Tato Dushangam Utsrijya Satsu Sajjeta Buddhiman Satsu Sajjeta Buddhiman Santo Evasyo Chindanti Santo Evasyo Chindanti Manobhya Sangha Mukti Bhi Manobhya Sangha Mukti Bhi Jad 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 Asad Jad Jad Jodi Jodi Asad Bhi Jodi Asad Bhi Pati Puna 
यदि अशाद्वि पति पूना शिष्ण दार कृत दमयी शिष्ण दार कृत दमयी आस्थी तो रमे अति जंतु आस्थी तो रमते जंतु तमो विशति पूर्ववत तमो विशति पूर्ववत सत्यम शौचम दया मौनम सत्यम शौचम दया मौनम बुद्धि श्री यशा क्षमा बुद्धि श्री यशा क्षमा शमो नमो भगश्चेति शमो नमो भगश्चेति जत्संज्ञात याति संशय जत्संशा याति संशय तेषु अशांतेषु मूढ़ेशु तेषु अशांतेषु मूढ़ेशु जशित क्रीड़ा मृगेशु चोषित क्रीड़ा मृगेशु चंगन कुरिया शेषु न कुर्जाक्षेषु खंडितात्म स्वधाधुषु खंडितात्म सधाधुषु इट्स वेरी स्ट्रांग भार्स वेरी स्ट्रांग स्ट्रांग भार्स इन द रिनाउंसिएशन जैसे ये दिस आर बैड हु गेट इन डाउज इनटू द life of sensuality and sexuality yeah they are bad don't keep touch with them <laughs> because in the bhagavat you know it, it, this is the beauty of bhagavat the ultimate point is that the mind will be withdrawn from everything but god hmm. that's the ultimate point other if little ram holy mother said no if you have little attachment for anything samadhi is not possible absolute absolute peace is not possible his holy mother said even a little thread eh uh, <coughs> what is the fiber in the thread is open then it will not pass through the needle eye of the needle so don't get frightened what they say they are talking about the highest ideal <laughs> and then if that person his mind does not go for anything in the world and what is the major attraction of human body ordinary men and women ga boys and girls sensuality sexual joy of giving being indulged into that type of thing so if one is indulged like that so if you go into it then what will happen your mind will be down and down and down and don't even think of that type of feeling emotions rise above so that is the inspiration but it is to be understood he is not saying that everyone should have to do but everyone in their own way as i as i explain celibacy has two side types of mean monk celibacy non celibacy is absolute celibacy but it is called called celibacy for the householder when their husband and wife or their relation and they are very deep in their relationship one pointed love that is called celibacy so you have to understand uh, to standard eh? don't make mix up eh? because one has taken the vow of living that type of life and their ideal is that absolutely think of god eh? brahmacharya the sanskrit word is brahmacharya brahmacharya means brahmani acharati iti one whose every behavior or dealing with brahman the absolute and he lives and swims in that brahman if he does that in that infinite absolute blissful state where the mind will come they will not think of anything they cannot think that's why that's called real brahmacharya but we as students of vedanta we as students of uh, monastic life we try to reserve or put that standard how to do think of holiness that's why don't think of all these things if they come don't pay attention to that like that it is a help 
for those who are trying to do lead this absolute life. No, you know. So, Tato, therefore, an intelligent man, Tato Dusanga Mutsicho, Satsu Sajje to Buddhiman. Buddhiman means who is intelligent man? Buddhiman. Hmm? Bengali, you know Buddhiman. And Hindi, you call Buddhi. Buddhiman, money, who has Buddhi. Real Buddhi means real intelligence. Real intelligent man, Buddhiman, Tato Dusanga Mutsicho, giving up the bad association should avoid evil company and what they will do? Satsu Sajjeta. They will be association will be with the holy man. Sat. God. Satsu means with, with godly people, with godly thought, with uh, uplifting. Right? They read uplifting books, uplifting places they go where they get the spiritual inspiration. Money did, they get the boosting. Where, wherever they go, how they can get their spiritual boosting. <laughs> so therefore, intelligent, if really one is sincere <clears throat> and wants this highest wisdom to happen in this life, so they will have to do a intense uh, effort to be in an environment. Keep your mind, that's why it is said, keep in your, in, 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 in your environment, your mind always suits up. Right? That's why... Huh? Man sounds to me like a superhero. Ah. Booty man. Booty man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's why we even, you know, in our Hindu culture is that you keep in your room all holy pictures. Here will be Krishna, here will be Rama, here will be Ganesha. Here. As if you think, oh, they are watching me. These holy people are with me. I am not alone. They are with me. It is just boosting. We, we, we use incense. For what? Take the mind from the mundane to something higher. When you put the incense, you feel like something, something higher. You put a candle, eh? just put a candle, because it has association with holiness. In the churches, in the temples, people use those tools. Eh? Therefore, this is the association you try to keep them. And people, those who want the other type of life, they can keep mundane pictures. Eh? According to choice, you can see. Whatever they are, they are liking, they collect that type of uh, uh, environment to live. They feel that as if they are sucked into that environment. A spiritual person will also keep such noble things around, noble association. That we are used to see that in Ramakrishna in the childhood, look at that. The holy people, eh, those who are going to the pilgrimage for uh, holy deep into the Bay of Bengal, hmm? which is now 15th January, 14th January will be the date probably, with the coldest period of the time. They will go to the Bay of Bengal, where people will die out of cold, <laughs> and they will have to take a dip there. And these sadhus, is, they will come flocking from all the world, all the world, all of India. No one announces, hey, here is a meeting, come, I am text messaging you, yeah, here is our <laughs> celebration going on, on that day we will give you feast and food, come, come, come. There is no uh, announcement. You see, this is India. And thousands of years it is going on, uh, they find on, on their own, this is the auspicious day of the 14th January, that is the Sankranti, it's called in, in Bengali, uh, according to moon calendar, that is the end of the year. Mm. Makara, Makara Sankranti. Uh, you take, tell that they, they will understand. Huh? What is that? That, that uh, the sun is moving, so that that time they were not very uh, sure moving. about the tropic of Cancer and tropic of Capricorn when the sunlight is going for the last time. So that is that uh, uh, sun will go. That that was the uh, ancient time calculation mm. to the tropic of Capricorn for the. Time now, sun wings are moving towards cancer. Mm. So, that is the end of Makara. Makara is the Capricorn. So, it's like the oh, solstice. Right. At the end of, yeah. Solstice. Yeah. And that is the time most auspicious. Most auspicious. They will go and take a bath into that cold air. So, so and then Ramakrishna used to see that near their home there was an inn. In early days, sadhus will come, stay one night, two nights. So, 
he used to go and find some, take some firewood, bring some, fetch some water for the sadhus. See, from the early childhood, he's a young boy, has no sense of palatni. He's running to have association with the holy. When Ramakrishna was asked, uh, why do you get all this? Sometimes he said, I, in Odhatva Ramayana, it is there on this and that. He said, why do you read? That he said, I have heard. Where he has heard? He has heard from the sadhus. When they used to come, and then after their stay, one night, two night, what they will do? They will talk about spiritual topic. And from there, my, that's why Ramakrishna knew some Hindi. Some Hindi words more. Because wandering sadhus are mostly Hindi speaking from different parts of India. They, and also they used to go to Puri Jagannath. That is the path which led to walking. And then on foot, people used to go to pilgrimage. That was the path to Puri Jagannath. So Ramakrishna heard, and that is the holy association. That's why it is said the sadhus, the holy, these monks, are the moving pilgrim. Moving pilgrim. Wherever they go, that place, they start talking about God, that becomes the place of pilgrimage. So Ramakrishna learned out of that. So he's saying, do that. So the holy association, you associate with them. Intelligent person should do that. Should avoid evil company and, and seek. One is avoiding, one is seeking. Seeking the holy man. Through instructions, a, a holy man remove the tendencies of that obstructs the growth of devotion. You know, it is said, our mind when becomes pure, it is the naturalness of the mind, as the naturalness of water is what? It goes down under gravity, no? So our mind, don't blame our mind. Mind normally, if it is really free from other pull, pull, it will go towards God. It is a natural tendency. That's why he said, the holy man, what they do? Holy man, santaha, holy man, santa, eva asya chinnanti, they cut asunder. Mano vyasanga mukti vi, the tendencies of the mind which is obstacle to spiritual growth. Our tendencies, eh? our tendencies, outgoing tendencies, takes away our mind into the external. As we read in the Katha Upanishad, eh, the senses are all projected outside to the sense objects. That's why it always runs, mind runs to the object of hearing, object of smelling, object of seeing, object of testing, object of touching. So it is natural, it goes. Because it goes, it does not go towards God. If all these attractions are withdrawn, or it mind does not like it, it does not feel much interest in it, what will happen? Mind will then go to only holiness and God. So he says, the holy people, they help us. They help us remove our tendencies. Which tendency? That tendency which pulls our attention always outside, outside, outside. Suppose, it is a simple example. Suppose you have a television in your room. And so many channels are there. What channel you will like? We choose our channel. You know? And if we choose our channel, our eyes go to that. Our ears hear that. We get the emotion which coming into that particular channel. So it is, it impacts our life. So now the world is a television channel. <laughs> and we, eh, we have no control over it. <laughs> what will come, you have no control. <laughs> then what happens, then it, we, are, we, are, we are as if uh, forced to run into the things which appear. In the movie also, you do not know what is coming next, you do not know. So in life also, what is coming next tomorrow, you do not know. What environment you are present now, what environment you will be tomorrow. So, and we get involved into it so much, but holy company actually helps us. That's why holy men, what they do? 
they remove the tendencies. Tendencies are very important. I once like, I see it, that is not tendency. You know, there is a difference between tendency, which is called samaskara. Samaskara is different thing. Samaskara is my inner urge will pull me there. Eh? And you may see something. Just you are passing, you see it. It will have no impact on you. In a sadhus, they say, once you see the thing, whether good or bad, has nothing, no impact on you. When your mind says, let us see second time, that's your tendency working. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. When you see, even ugly, even nasty, even something, it is nothing. Because it is because things have come, eyes are designed like that to see, eyeball is here, rays of light will be there, in the nervous system, it will carry to the nerves, will carry to the brain sensation, and the particular area it will be stimulated, neuron act, action, this, that. It's a physical thing, it will happen. In any camera, it is happening. So it is like a camera. But tendency is coming when you say, hey, it is good, let me, no. <laughs> Second time, and then you go for a third time. Uh, that happens, no? If you go to a restaurant and have a good food, they say, Oh, this God, I'll come next time. Eh? You come to next time, and next time you say, Oh, why? Again, third time. No? That is called the, it is creating your interest in it, meaning the tendency is being created. So, it all those tendencies are removed by holy men because they have done that. For themselves and they radiate that spiritual enlightenment and being in them you can feel unconsciously even your tendencies are being corrected changing 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 that story we remember that story about the one landlord was very angry with the uh, jealous or angry with a saintly person who is to do uh, take the name of the Lord day and night and he is not involved into anything and probably the landlord has told him something to do he does not do it so to defame him he appointed one prostitute uh, and observing something and then they uh, the, rum the rumor will be real and then uh, he will be then proven that he is a fake monk or something and that, that lady, poor lady came and he came to the saintly person and with fully dressed and things to tempt, tempt the <laughs> sadhu. So what? But he, he, he is such a sadhu. He said, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish my reputation of mantra. <laughs> when I finish my mantra, then I'll talk to you. And then, then she, she, you know, suddenly she's waiting, waiting one hour, two hours, <laughs> three hours, and he, and she is getting restless again and again. I said, wait, 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 I have to finish my job. <laughs> and the whole night went away. So one day, he could, she could not do anything. So he went back, and the landlord got mad. What? You could not seduce this, this flimsy man. What is your? Go. Next day, again, next day, she came back, but the same way, the sadhu did like that, and said, wait, 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 and whole night she waited, third day, she similarly did the same thing, and by that time, she transformed, she said, please forgive me, what a great life, and what am I doing, and then she said, okay, so, give the mantra, and you practice here, and I'm leaving this place. This place is not good for me <laughs> because the landlord is against me. <laughs> Let me go away, and you stay over. <laughs> so he he gave the ashrama to her, and 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 the lady became a saintly lady. So the point is that it is an example. I forgot exactly exactly which saint that name. Jabon Haridas. Jabon Haridas means. He was born in a family of a Muslim family, Yavan, that's why called Yavan. And he, oh, that is the reason probably. Huh? The, the landlord is angry with him being a, being a Muslim. 
man born in Muslim family and you are repeating the name of the Lord and rosary like Hindus, eh? maybe something like that. And then he left. So the question is that he is such a, it's not the, where you are born. Javanoni Das is also important. He is Chaitanya Dev's most adorable uh, person. Chaitanya Dev himself, when he died, Chaitanya Dev take his body and did the last ritual for uh, Javan Haridas. Uh, such a spiritually attained person. And how he transformed the life of people. He didn't do anything. He, he is doing his own spiritual practice. But that vibration, that environment transformed the tendencies. Very important, got a tendency which is very difficult to uproot. So tendencies that obstructs the growth of devotion. A person who associates with and delights in the company of the purely worldly minded men. Uh, that means who are obsessed in the world. Uh, this, this scripture always says when they talk about sex, sex and interest and this and that, meaning not ordinary honest life. Honest life is an ashrama. In Hinduism, Brahmacharya is a student life, no? ashrama. Then Garhastha, ashrama. Married life is an ashrama. It is not decried, it is bad. But those who indulge in obsession, that is the criticism here. Because holy families have produced holy children. That's why these saints are born. Saints don't fall from the sky. <laughs> they are also born in some home, is it not? So if the mom and dad is not that much pure and, and they have not that much loving relationship, then how the child will learn? Child learns from their parents more than anyone. So it is not that criticism. Don't take it wrongly. When you read the scripture, must be careful. Otherwise people will make always a wrong interpretation of these things. It is not that. But those who are obsessed with that. Right? So those who are, you know, you know the effect of uh, alcoholic anonymous people. What happened? Sexual anonymous people. What? I, 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 I saw many of them. And they openly say, I don't find joy, but I cannot stop. I am forced. Uh, like, like some compulsive impulse, uh, which yeah. I cannot avoid. It's addiction. Addiction. Yeah, it could be addiction to anything. Anything, food, or food. Or yeah, sugar, work, work, yeah. work, work addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the good addiction and then better addiction side. <laughs> but this is also, <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, getting to drug, drug addiction, getting to drinking, drinking addiction, getting to sexuality, all these addictions. These are addiction is dangerous thing because you are helpless there. Yeah, that's the solution. And that's the Holy Company. Well, Holy Company, like they say here in America, to go to the 12-step program. That's the Holy Company. Together. That's the Holy Company. Is yeah. it not? This is oh, a broader sense, huh? I know, no, well, yeah. But. Because that is done by a Vedanta student. <laughs> this this 12-step oh, really? program. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Bill oh, really? yeah. Wilson was yeah. a student of Vedanta. Yeah. Student of Vedanta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why? That's why he brought this philosophy. You have the power. It's Vedanta principle. You, you went to like that, you can come out. Take a resolution, you will not do it. Say, so many people are saying, I am sober, I am sober, I am sober. You say, I also should be sober. Mm. It's the same principle in uh, this type. So it is the potentiality of Vedantic principle. That's why, as you say, for those people who don't know this much type of other ex uh, teaching, that go to the Alcoholic Anonymous meeting. What they teach? They all talk about their experience and how they have succeeded in stopping that obsession for someone say I eat five days, someone say I have done two, two weeks, I have done one month, I have done one year, I am done. This is an example coming and that's why gradually, gradually coming out of the obsession. It is the holy association for them. You cannot just give this idea to them. It will have no meaning. There is a practicality. I am obsessed. I, I cannot live without it one night. And here he says, I have done five nights. Why not you? That you, oh, he has done it? So long people go, it's obsession is such, you don't find joy. But as you are forced to, forcefully pulled into it as it were, by some unforeseen power. And then you do not know what to do. And that's a helpless situation. The Vedanta says, 
no helpless. You have created, you can uncreate. That is the Vedanta principle. And that's why it is so important. This is Veda. That's why we even allow this place for Alcoholic Anonymous meeting. So, which one is relative from? Yeah, relative from, according to the student's ability. Which which quality of the student? Uh, for, for that person, it is a holy association. It's bringing out of that. And then he will search for something higher and higher. And ultimate holy association is God. Nothing but God. Brahman. Satchidananda. Huh? Day and night to think, I am that divine. I am that pure. I am the birthless. I am the stand. This word will not resonate in the mind of that type of people unless they come out from one level. Uh, you have to go to these stages of schooling. No. In a so school. Those people like who went to Dakshineshwar and then asked their friends. I think you said Dakshineshwar. Yeah, but they will come. Sometimes Sri Ramakrishna is not even the Holy Company. Holy Company, yeah. Because the mind is not prepared to accept, to understand. Uh, there is nothing wrong not to criticize them. Don't criticize anybody. Because they are in that state. That is their... Uh, their that association will help them. Uh, as I give the example, one Einstein is, uh, Einstein is not necessary to teach <laughs> a, a third grade boy. If he teaches something, the student will not understand anything for what he is talking about. But a mature student, he will understand why, what, what he is saying. So every grade, that's a student, God's grace is works to the holy association. Even in, eh, are you going to say anything? No. Even in the world, there are so many people who want to come out, they do not know how to come out. They are holy because you know, these people got some connection. I know many, many situations privately. They are uh, in, a, in a place where there is no such uh, alcoholic anonymous groups. I said, you start. <laughs> Get linked with somebody and start. And that will be helpful. You and also other. But, but you, you cannot tell that guy, okay, now you chant the name of the Lord and go to Samadhi. Yeah? <laughs> it will be a ridiculous statement for <laughs> to telling that, that type of person. Okay, you are good. You want to be better because you are divine. You will have to be. But you went to, to that experience. This is the way to come out. Do that step by step. And then a person who, who associates with, with and delights in the company of the purely worldly minded men. That's the point. Purely worldly. They don't understand anything but worldliness. Uh, who live solely for the satisfaction of the stomach and sex instinct. Enter again into the world of darkness. Because it is like taking the mind to a petty thing. Spirituality is making you bigger, faster, greater. Your identity is expanding, expanding. And when you are only focused to eating and sleeping normally, and the three normal functions of animals, that's why I call animal instinct. So that drags the mind down and down and to little me and my satisfaction, me and my satisfaction. And forget about the whole world. Even when they go, they don't look after their family, they don't look after their children, they don't, cannot do anything for their anybody, only me and my satisfaction. So it is degradation, degradation in spiritual life. The scripture says, no, 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 that don't take that. Rather you expand yourself. And truth, purity, kindness, restraint in speech, discrimination, intelligence, auspiciousness, modesty, Reputation, forbearance, control of mind, control of the senses, and all other virtues perish through association with purely worldly minded men. But it sounds like these are virtues similar to Yama and Niyama of yeah. Patanjali. Yeah. And it also sounds like there are virtues that are expressed in chapter 16 of the Bhagavad Gita where they make the distinction between the demonic and the divine mind and they specifically enumerate the character character attributes that belong to each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Yeah. That is that is true. Uh, even Ten Commandments, no? Mm -hmm. uh, every scripture talks about specific. it. Uh, uh, and these Hindus have described this so meticulously. 
that you want to be spiritual, there's no magic. You have to be working hard on yourself. But, but uh, in the path of spirituality, sometimes people forget. They think I'm perfect. I'm to correct you. I have the responsibility to correct you, what you are doing, where you are looking, what are you eating, why are you mixing with this man, that man, this, that, that, that. As if, as if I am the boss of you. But it is not. Spirituality is all turning this way. Yeah. What? Where? <laughs> Yesterday, there's somebody called, asked that question, no? that's an Sunday, Sunday question answer. Uh, I, I said that be perfect, I quoted be perfect as your father in the heaven is perfect. So then he said, how to be perfect? <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, what did they say? Imperfect. We just find out the imperfection and just get out of the imperfection. We are perfect. But we are this because we think that we are this. So where is my imperfection? You have no more time, you will really find, you have no second to find out anyone, what others are doing, others are saying, if you look at your own imperfection. How you can perfect yourself in every step and see what is within you. In you is the perfect, in me is the perfect, but I cannot express that because imperfection. So don't correct the world. There's a mistake. In American culture, sometimes young people or even elderly people first take up the responsibility, I want to change the world. Yeah. After some time you understand that the world has changed, you made you change. <laughs> you cannot change the world. World will go on in this way. It is a machine. Rather, you are put into that machine to bring out, you come out as a good ornament. Huh? So I also think you can say that in Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, he says if you do not follow, strictly follow Yama and Niyama, mm -hmm. you will not make progress in spiritual life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was the Buddha that said, is it better to cover the world with leather or to just put on a pair of shoes? Yeah, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> Suppose there is rat hole and pothole in the road mm -hmm. and you can curse the whole county and this everything, but you have to walk. <laughs> you have to drive, you have to drive. So make your car good spring, add good spring <laughs> to your car, that you will not jump that much, no. But world will be like that. This is a wrong concept. Samiji talked about that in his lecture, that this Sunday morning lecture, you know, reading was there, that this world will remain like that. You have to, you have to change yourself. And what is the exactly he, uh, that reading was mm, the correction? Uh, see, see, see. The actually, is survival skill, survival skill. There is pollution. What will happen in uh, in in Santa Barbara area? Now everyone is putting the mask. They cannot breathe. No, so you put mask. Mm -hmm. You can blame this nasty asses, but you will not go away. You have to make some provision so that you are not affected. Let the environment be there, but you keep in your own sanity. Yeah, take responsibility, yeah. which is one of the 12 steps, right? Yeah. Take responsibility for your actions. Yeah, take responsibility. That's Vedanta. Mm -hmm. uh, all dualistic religion, or even human being, always be happy. If something is wrong, I do not do it. You did it. <laughs> Always to point the finger on you. You, 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 either you, either you, either you, or any, anybody. And if not, then I'll say that the, uh, the, my cap has fallen down automatically. It falls. <laughs> it falls. What can I do? It falls. Are, it falls. Does it, it has light that it falls? Or you are inadvertently, you, you, you pulled it down. No, it is not me. It has fallen. What can I do? Suppose if I break a glass. Huh? Oh, the, the glass has fallen. What can I do? <laughs> the glass has not fallen. <laughs> Don't take the responsibility on yourself. Don't put it on others. But we are always happy. That's our human nature. All good is me. All bad is somebody else. <laughs> so many elections, if you walk, make a 
based on the word change. And then that is what pulls the water to change the government and change, change, change. So they are not thinking that they are planning to change the country, change the government. They <coughs> not the to change. Well, that is not I don't object because they are going to be a public figure. They want to change the something society. Yes, they should have some planning because that is the role. But spiritual life, uh, first you have to make up. Right? No, no change outside. If you are spiritual, the politic, political world is different. They want to do good to the society, good people. Uh, they want to do this way, good. How it can be improvised in that way. But in spiritual life, there is no scope. So long we don't focus on our weak points to get out of that. Oh, the the Saint, Saint Francis prayer. Is it? Oh, oh Lord, give me the power to change what I can. Uh -huh, uh, no, oh, Lord, that's not. Give me the power to accept what I cannot change. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, give me the wisdom to distinguish between them. Mm -hmm. well, that's in the 12 steps, too. Yeah. 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 That's the serenity prayer. Yeah, the serenity prayer. Mm -hmm. Also, mm, uh, Saint Francis prayer is there. Uh, oh, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Mm -hmm. Where there is hatred, let me show love. Where is where there is uh, injury, pardon. Mm. So all the character. It is not you. I have to generate the power of pardoning thing, forgive thing. I have to take care of it. Not you. You do whatever you like. Transformation is here. That's called spiritual life. But very difficult. Uh, of course, very difficult. That's why spiritual life is difficult. <laughs> There are so many paths, so many people going through. But sincere spiritual people will not look that side, always to correct myself. And genuinely, uh, that's why Holy Mother said, don't see fault with others. Try to see your own fault. Uh, not that to feel that you are the worst guy. That's also another danger. If I see my fault, then we become so weak, oh, I am a bad guy. Everyone is God, I am a bad guy. So you become bad, 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 that you push yourself down. No, I am pure. But this imperfection I am correcting. I am making me perfect and correct. So these qualities, main qualities they have said, uh, Satyam, Shauchan, Daya, Maunam, Buddhi, Shri, Ri, Rijashak, Shama, Shama, Dhamma, Bhaga, Sreti, just Sangat Jati Sangshaya. With the, this truth, purity, kindness, restraining speech. Restraining speech is another thing. Mm. Very great power. Yeah. If we, when you get mad, what comes out? My God, nasty. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> we should hate ourselves. Afterwards, we need to remember that. Yeah. But it is anger. What can you do? You are becoming an animal. I have become slave of something. Discrimination, intelligence, auspiciousness, modesty, reputation, even reputation. Reputation is not good for a holy person. Reputation takes your pride, ego. And then you say, oh, I am somebody. Ha, ha, ha. And then you deviate from God. No, God. He is saying that reputation perishes. Here is saying the other way. He is calling it a virtue. No, no, says reputation, forbearance, virtue. As a virtue, right, yeah. Modesty, reputation, forbearance, control of mind, control of the senses, and all other virtues perish. But reputation as a bad thing. That's why it perish. Understand? I think the reputation here means a good reputation. Like, yeah. Of course. Yeah, but I don't know whether reputation is the right word, the right translation. Maybe some, uh, there might be a better translation. But anyway. Anyhow, the idea we understand. Good character. Uh, no, yeah. good, not, yeah. not good character. No, no, no. Good character. I am reputed. Reputed means I am being praised by others. I am somebody. So ego popping inside. No, I understand. But here the word reputation and all the other words are used as virtues. Yeah. Because he's saying that reputation, forbearance, control of mind, all these, virtues. all and all other virtues. Where is through the association of the pure divine mind, mind so man? Yeah. And all other words and right, right. <coughs> good, good things. They are all you have, but they are destroyed when you go to bad association. 
What is the Sanskrit word for reputation? Here I don't know. Jasa, Jasa. Okay. Yasha. Hri Jasa. Jasa is the reputation. Yasha, yasha. Done rightly. They have done right. Because with the association of the holiness, your Jasa means your fame goes away. And people say, oh, he's, he, he was such a great person. See what he is now. No? Your reputation goes away. Your virtue, noble virtues go away. Uh, really, really, we become uh, beastly when anger takes possession of that, when we feel obsessed with something else. It is, it is a, when a, it takes away, that is the unholy association. Then, these world in, world, worldlings, Baba, worldlings, are evil in this position, body-minded, restless, and undiscriminating. They are mere pet animals of their women folk <laughs> or men folk, both ways. Do not associate with them. <laughs> be, be on, be, they say very strong word. That means leave, but don't be uh, attached to the, those things which take away your noble uh, virtues of life. Okay? So it is in America the men are bossed around by the wives. Uh, that's okay. Well, and also some No, no, no. I, 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 I don't make yeah, a distinction. It's true that, like, with, uh, you don't know what it's like to be a man. You're just full of your feminism. That's just a form of getting power over men to disagree. But you are not married, so you can't speak. I was. I was <laughs> more of a charge. I have plenty of experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good. What is the time? You have done. <coughs> tea time. Okay, let us have tea time. Tea, so let us go to have some tea. Tea, tea, tea. You already did? I preheated it, so it shouldn't take very long now. Hey. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay. Hey, you, you have something maybe. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. And? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Rina? Hey, Rina. Yeah, I brought you.